Hi, it's female and welcome back to my channel. So this morning, um, today is, uh, what is it? March the 18th. And um, today I tried to go out for stuff that I seen in the sales paper. Okay. So I just want to forewarn you guys that the sales papers are not valid. They are no good uh, because I went to Smart and Final thinking that the stuff that they had, I'm thinking because they put a sales ad out that the store shell should have been replenished, okay? Well, they have not been replenished, all right? So the shelves are empty and they don't have anything in the sales out um sales ad in the store except for they had the cereal and they had the uh the chips um but as far as the meat goes they didn't have that um they didn't have any meat they didn't have any uh, milk or eggs or anything like that no bread None of that stuff that they had in the sales ad did they have in the store. Um, but like I said, they had the chips and they had the cereal. Now, the sales ad said that um, you could get four cereals. Okay, that's what the sales ad said. So I got four cereals. All right. But when I got to the register, then they said you could only have two. And um, because they were, um, uh, because of the the out the coronavirus thing, so I said, "But you guys have this in your store ad." I said, "What's the sense in having the store ad?" So he gonna try to tell me that the store ad was put out three weeks ago. Uh, I just got the store ad yesterday, um, and you mean to tell me that you guys could not stop the ad from going out you know what i'm saying and so he says that that will probably be the last sales ad that they put out um well this has been going on for at least a week or so so the sales ad to me the sales ad shouldn't have been put out in the first place you know but i didn't argue with him i went on and put two of the cereals back it wasn't a problem but I just felt like they should have honored the um, what they had in print. Um, but he was saying that none of anything that they had, the sales ads are not valid because, uh, because of what's going on. And that's fine, but they should, they should have put something up on the front of the store door or at the register or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it kind of teed me off, but I went on. I didn't argue um, with him about it. I just went on and put the two cereals back and um, got the, the rest of the stuff. Now, they had a limit on cereal, but they had no limit on chips. Okay, come on. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> so you guys, if you get the sales paper ad, uh in the mail do not go to the store because the stores don't have those items anyway all right um so anyway dollar tree was next door to the um store so i went to dollar tree and dollar tree was uh picked through at least that one was but i was able to get a few things that um that i needed um well that i wanted to just have on hand just in case we're in here for a long haul i don't plan on going out anymore um because you know i'm just gonna stay in now so the only thing we'll probably need to go out for and that'll be maybe in a week and a half that'll be dog food for the dogs and um but right now we're good they're good for at least a week and a half for dog food. So anyway, um, I got the Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge uh, Brownie Mix. And um, 
because my mom wanted some sweet stuff for her house uh, just to have on hand. Um, Cause you know, you get stir crazy. You sometimes you want something sweet. Anyway, um, they had the blueberry lemonade. So I got, uh, I think I got two, three of these. I do believe three of these. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, they had the strawberry lemonade. I got, um, three of those. And then I got the, some more of the Shasta ginger ale. Got a couple of those. All right. And um, I got some of these uh, baskets. I got two of this kind. And then I got two of this kind here. This is the bigger kind. Um, and I got some hair products because... Uh, I'm not going to be able to go and get my hair done. So I got some hair stuff and then I got some shower stuff. Uh, some more of the Power Stick 3 in 1. Uh, and this is Spring Fresh 18 Fluid Ounces. So I got two of these Spring Fresh. And then I got two of these uh, Cool Blue Water. And this is also the three in one. And it's 18 ounces. All right. And so the hair products, I got the olive oil hair sheen uh, rejuvenated fragile hair. So I got two of these. And this is uh, 12 fluid ounces. And this is Lusty brand. Because I'm going to take these braids down, not this week, but probably in the next couple of weeks and just go natural. Because um, I'll be at home and won't nobody be able to see me anyway. So <laughs> I got to look rough and tough at home. All right. So I got that. And then I, got, I was out of... Uh, the butter flavored cooking spray. So I got a bottle of that. And then I got, um, nobody had the uh, taco seasoning. So I got um, three of these taco seasonings. Cause my family, we always have some form of tacos. So, yeah, I got three of these because I um, couldn't find these in the regular store. So, three of these. And then I got the hair products, Salon Selectives Curl Control Curl Stretch Cream. And this is uh, enriched with shea butter. And this is, I think that says six, five or six fluid ounces. So, I got two of these because these are it on um, your hair okay and then I got the lusty uh, argon argan oil curl wave twist shaping gel fast drying non flaking so I got two of these you see that so I'll be using those like I said when I take this hair of mine down and then they had the Argon, uh, and this is by Lusty also, Argan Oil uh, Hair Moisturizer, triple strength, okay? And this is Moisture and Nourish, okay? So I got two of these. There you go. Two of those for my hair. And um, I got some chalkboard tags for some DIY stuff. I got uh, some C batteries. Uh, I got four of these C batteries for, for flashlights. Got a couple more. Uh, I got one more uh, extra pack of the heavy duty uh Double A batteries and, and 
then um, a pack of the triple a heavy duty batteries and then I got some of the limes um, because I'm gonna paint these yellow uh, so they'll be lemons uh, because in summertime I'm gonna make some uh, stuff with those for the summer some reefs and stuff so that is all that I have in this haul um, like I said I got these big giant baskets because I'm gonna be organizing up under my bathroom sink um, cause I, and up under my kitchen sink because I just kind of have stuff strolled everywhere um, and so the, since the last time that I was on here doing a video um, our school was notified we were notified that we were going to be off until um, instead of going back April the 6th we will go back uh, where it's been extended until April the 30th. Um, but the governor is saying that uh, we could go back. Um, it could last all the way up until uh, the fall. So I don't know. Um, they The school districts haven't said anything about that. I think it's kind of like on a wait and see type basis. But anyway, um, that's what's happening uh, as far as my job. So I am loving being at home and being able to just relax and um, kind of chill out. The only thing that I am mad about is that I wanted to go back up to the school because when I left that Friday, I, I just was under the assumption I would be back uh, in, you know, three weeks. And so uh, I wasn't thinking I was just wanting to get out of there, but uh, I left all my hand sanitizer. I had a gigantic bottle of hand sanitizer and I had disinfectant and all that stuff in my desk. And so now they won't allow us to go back up there to get anything out of the classroom. So um, my stuff is just up there in my desk. So I'm kind of teed off about that because um, you can't find any hand sanitizer or disinfectant type stuff at uh, any of the stores right now. So I'm kind of mad about that, but it's all right. Um, I'll get over it. But I know one thing when I get when I do get back to work, my stuff better be in my desk. I know that because. <laughs> <laughs> if my stuff is not in my desk, they're going to owe me some money. I know that. <laughs> That's what I do know. So, um, so how are you guys uh, handling uh, being, being at home and everything like that, hunkering down? And um, it's, it's funny to me, uh, the parents who are complaining about having their kids at home <laughs> that is so funny to me because um now you guys know uh what monsters that you really have because, <laughs> because i'm telling you we as teachers we are loving loving this time away and we are paid also so um you know teachers and and teachers assistants and um security uh you know everybody we are loving this time away it's time for us to decompress and relax and have peace of mind because it is tough working with y'all monsters <laughs> i'm telling you you know maybe uh you guys being with you with your kids for this long period of time maybe it would teach you to discipline your children and to teach them how to behave um that's a, maybe a goal that some of you parents can work on is um on uh teaching your children how to behave and how to talk to people um and because now you guys are seeing <laughs> you're not just having them just for the weekend anymore uh and just for you know a break here and there you're having them uh right now for the unforeseen future so <laughs> so good luck to you <laughs> 
you know, good luck to you. Um, but anyway, um, and for those of you that don't know, uh, uh, you're wanting to know about, well, about prom, graduation, and all these other things, activities, and stuff like that. Um, uh, people that work for the school, they have no, we have no idea either. Um, and as far as grades go, we have no idea about that. Uh, so, you know, it's everything is up in the air and everything is being decided upon uh, at the district level. So, um, you know, we, when you guys, parents get emails from the school, we get the same emails also notifying us as to what's going on at the school. So uh, we have no clue either uh, because right before we left, uh, grading uh, the grades, uh, what is it, third quarter grades, we're getting ready to go in uh, next month on the 8th. I think it was, but so now that is all postponed. Um, so I I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know, I don't know how it's gonna work. Uh, if it is extended until fall, I don't know if, uh, you know, people that were seniors are gonna have to come back and, and do uh, more, more time. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work. So anyway, uh, all of that is up in the air. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and show you, share with you guys the the little haul that I did get from um, Dollar Tree, mostly hair products, because um, I you see these braids are old and, you know, all the new growth that's coming in. But I'm going to rock with it probably till the end of the month or however long I can stand to look at it. And then I'll be, next time you see me, uh, will probably be natural hair. Well, I'll be on here before the end, before I take these braids down. But it'll be natural hair pretty soon. Um, so I'll be looking crazy. <laughs> but I have plenty of time to try to get, get some type of look going to figure out how to make that natural hair look uh uh like something i don't know anyway um so i'm going to you know stay in the house because now that i know these sales papers are a lie they don't have this stuff that they say that they have because it just makes you feel like okay they put the sales ads out that means they have replenished the stores you know the stores are replenished and everything is good well it's not so they need to stop with the sales papers. Everybody does. So if you got sales papers in your house, just throw them in the trash because they're basically no good. Uh, like I said, Smart and Final did have the chips and the um, the chips and the cereal, but the cereal is only limited to two. Unlike the sales ad says, it's limit four. Um, so, but you can get all the chips you want. There's no limit on the chip, <laughs> the Cheetos and the Fritos. There's no limit on that. They were a dollar seventy-seven. So, anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. If by chance you're new to my channel, please hit the subscription button. Also, hit the bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload new videos. Also, give me a thumbs up you know, or let me know um, what you guys are doing uh, to stay sane in the house. Um, it's not too much bothering me. As long as I have TV, now if cable went out, oh, it would be a problem. Or if my internet went out, it would be a problem for me to stay in the house. But if I have TV, uh, I can stay in the house forever. It, it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> you know, I could always... I, I have a backyard. If I want to get some fresh air, I can go in the backyard and mess with the dogs or I can sit on my front porch because um, I do have, um, you know, a house that has uh, a yard. So I'm pretty good on that. Uh, but other than that, I'm just going to stay put, 
you know, not trying to go anywhere. Unfortunately, my husband, he still has to work uh, during this time because he uh, makes a concrete block at a block company. And so they are still working. Um, and so I'm praying for him every day that he's okay, but they wear all that protective stuff anyway. They wear the goggles and they wear the um, the mask and everything. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, what was it? President uh, Trumpkin, Trump, <laughs> he was asking for um, uh, construction companies and, and places like that to donate masks uh, to the hospitals and stuff. So um, he's he was saying that those masks that they wear uh, are pretty good for stopping um, virus or, or whatever um, and that the hospitals needed them. So, you know, we just got to stay prayed up during this time. Um, and like I said, try to limit your, you know, your outdoor uh being outdoor and, and in crowds and stuff, try to limit it if you can and, you know, keep your hands washed and stuff like that. So, you know, just common sense stuff. And it was stuff that I was doing uh, long ago, sanitizing after I, uh, after I've, you know, been in the grocery store or, or been somewhere, I always had to san sanitize my hands as soon as I get in the car and everything like that. I've been doing that for years. So this is nothing that's new to me, but I guess it's new to some people. But anyway, uh, let me get off of here and um, put this stuff away and find something to do. I think I'm going to do one more video um, today, uh, or I may, I may just save that video for tomorrow. Cause see if we'll get a little bit more sun. Yeah, I got a couple of videos coming up that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a spring tour of my front porch and my living room. And then I'm going to do a um, Ashley Stewart haul and try on. Um, so yeah, I think I'll do that another day. Try to space it out some, so, um, you know. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. Stay safe. Let's see, which one of these turns it on?